Hi, in today's video I'm installing the SPS uh, comb positioning system on a youth stock for a Beretta A303. As you can see, I've installed half of a three-quarter inch dowel to make up for the thinness of the stock, and I'm cutting the comb down three-quarters of an inch from the top. So you can see the sawing. A bow saw might not be the ideal choice for this if you've got a bandsaw and a jig, but uh, as you can see, this can also be done pretty cheaply with a bow saw. Right, that's good. That's all I needed. Just a little bit. You can see here I've got the comb sawn free. You can also see at the front of that where I sawed through the dowel. Uh, obviously, if you don't fill this, you're going to have a hole right into the stock at that point. Uh, next step is a significant amount of rasping away here, so get the wood level. Um, I go through two rasps and then sand it. I'm going to fast forward that at double speed for the next little bit. I'm starting off this work with a large coarse rasp here. At this point, I switch over to a finer rasp uh, just to remove the coarse rasp markings. At this point, I start sanding uh, with this coarse sandpaper, 150 grit over a file, uh, and that this takes quite a while, and uh, I progress through grits up to 220 for my final finish. At this point I make several uh, failed attempts to plane it and eventually resort to the file again as uh, it's the only really decent way to do this without risking breaking the tip off the top of the comb. Uh, pretty tough to get a good work hold and plane either cross grain or with the grain uh, the way the comb is cut. Once I have the top and bottom of the comb pieces uh, all sanded, I 
mark the center for where I'll put the posts from the stock set. And then I uh, drove some small nails in and chopped them off so that I could mark the top piece of the comb um, exactly where I wanted it to match the bottom section of the stop. The top section of the comb requires a 7 8 inch drill bit uh, board partway down and then inside of that a 5 8 inch drill bit for the remainder of these stepped bushings uh, which I'm installing now. The bottom of the stock requires a shallower 7 8 inch uh, holes, which were also drilled into the stock uh, for these posts and bushings. When mounting the stock part of the kit, you uh, have to change out the long number six screws that come with it for some shorter ones, or you'll stick into the uh, inside of the stock and interfere with the uh, mainspring inside the stock. Uh, the overall height of the bushing is about 5 eighths. I only had about 3 quarters of inch of stock after cutting it. Uh, so I went ahead and filed about an eighth inch off the top of these step bushings uh, in order to drill less depth into my comb and eliminate the risk of the point of the bit sticking out the top of the comb and busting through. Um, after I installed the bushings, I went ahead and ran a smaller diameter bit, the same size as the post, inside uh, a standard point bit and drilled it slightly deeper in order to get a little more depth out of it without the, the point, the spur point of the Forstner bit um, risking poking out and gained another sixteenth of an inch of overall adjustability. Once you have the hardware mounted into the upper piece of the stock comb, uh, you need to drill some holes into the lower part of the step bushing. Um, and then you'll tap those for 10, 24 uh, set screws that you'll add in uh, that pinch against the slide post and secure the stock.
The set screws that come with this kit are a bit long for uh, the stock I'm using, so I'll have to find some shorter ones to replace those and make sure they sit below the surface of the stock. Uh, from a usability standpoint, this is for a left-hand shooter, and the set screws were put on the opposite on the left-hand side of the gun so as not to interfere. 